Hi, we're at Welcome to Angling View. Today, we're fishing the paste on the waggler. Just took the first fish, I don't think it's very big. In fact, it's a tench, which is fabulous because we love a good tench. Um, and uh, hopefully, it usually brings out the, uh, the, the bigger fish, which we're uh, gonna hopefully catch later on in this episode. So let's get the, uh, let's get this tench unhooked. As you'll all know, if you've ever caught a tench, they're uh, not the easiest of things to keep hold of, but beautiful, definitely my favorite fish. Let's get him back. And hopefully, yeah, uh, we'll catch his much, much bigger brother, um, or a nice carp. So, What's the difference, and, and, and what's what's the point of me of me fishing this uh, pace waggler today? Now, obviously, the wag waggler fishing in general is something that I don't normally do. I I, uh, I used to obviously do it a lot as a as a child, and uh, obviously the pellet waggler is probably about the much as I, as I use the waggler, as I use the pole quite quite often for for most things that are to do with the float although i really do enjoy fishing uh, the waggler it's not something i do so the reason i've chosen it today is what i want to show you is a lot of people we do a lot of videos um, and a lot of videos about paste and big fish baits and stuff like that and we're always fishing the pole so i just want to show you that you can catch these really really good fish and fish paste still while using a waggler um, and you don't always have to have um, a pole uh, because there's a lot of people obviously that watch my videos and and people that watch a lot of videos uh, all over YouTube and they don't they either don't like fishing the pole or they just don't get on with it or they just fish the waggler some big old fish cruising around um, hopefully someone will, will get their heads down and and eat that paste but um, and this is the reason why I, I really want to do it today and just go into a little bit of uh, how easy it is to fish on a waggler now if you fish my paste um, watch my paste 101 uh, I know that's pole orientated but then it does show you how to mix the paste uh, and we're fishing the stiffer of the two pastes today and uh, so we can s basically swing it out as you've just seen and uh, it doesn't drop off the hook although you can't cast it uh, just to fish off the rod tip we've got 13 foot Tyson today so it's it's giving me a, a little bit longer than maybe a 12 foot would do um, which allows me to just drop it out a little bit further out it's it follows the same principles uh, of plumbing the depth you've got it's got to be dead depth and that's another fish and this one doesn't feel a big fish to be honest but you never know it is nice light rods probably an f1 it could be another tench but it allows you to to fish with uh, that paste on the base so just a little cap oh in and and out and in <laughs> there we go been a bit of a mess up for that but um it allows us to to fish the uh the bait on the floor on the deck and, and we'll go we're gonna go straight into uh, the setup once we've unlocked this fish P hooked perfectly in the bottom lip as you'd imagine with the paste not a massive fish nice little common hopefully we're gonna have something a little bit bigger than that um, I'm sure we will what I'll do is I'll just switch the camera around and we'll just have a little look at the gear and what we're using and we can uh, have a little chat about um, how different that is to fishing the pole right guys so like i said tyson 13 foot rod um can make it a little bit tricky for netting if you're not got a lot a long enough uh, landing at handle you just need to pull a bit of line out uh, so you, you can net the fish uh, these retail at around 65 quid um and and, and and to be fair i think for that money they're pretty damn good the light they're not there's not they're not bouncy at all they're responsive and they've got a lovely through action uh, and just a really sort of nice rod to use uh, flat part and handle 
uh, as well, which is great. So we'll go, we'll go into that when we do a little bit of a review. Got the inertia reel on here with um, six pound uh, M Tech midi line, and the rig itself. Now it's dead simple. So we've got the shot running on there. We've got a little crystal waggler. So this is a two BB classic crystal loaded waggler, um, and we want. A smallish float because it's not it's not very deep in regards to where we are uh, so we've got um three number eights one at the one at this side to stop and two at that side and as you know from my pace videos you don't really use a lot of shot but we have been using um this waggler for down the edge as well so there is another two shots just before the up link and then we've got an up link of um about 018 because it's paced and we potentially could catch some big fish um got 018 and that's got a kkmb size 12 as always with a little tag so we can hook it on and nice and simple and the paste today it's not my trusty um it's a krill style paste i'll show you what paste it is actually it's a dynamite baits krill extreme paste um, a swim stem range so you know it, it's it's the same range as I normally get um, I didn't have any uh, of the normal that I use so we got some of this and since we're doing the trick today so what we'll do is we'll flip the camera back round uh, onto where we're fishing and uh, hopefully we'll catch another one so guys hooking the pace as always this time it's a little bit different because I don't want a too big ball because if I swing it out it is going to fall off to the weight so I've only got a small so our thumb sized ball and we're just moulding it around just make sure you've got slack line when you're moulding it otherwise you're going to end up uh, losing your paste I've kept mine underneath my bait tray because obviously it's a bit wet today and we don't want it to to get any wetter than what it is this is at the, the right te texture that we need it for today so I'll reel the line down so it's a bit like fishing the pole that we've got probably around 50 centimetres, 40 centimetres maybe of line to allow me to strike like that. Oh, and it was straight in and straight off there. Um, I got an handful of pellets at the same time. Uh, so hopefully there's another one down there. But I'll throw in those, those pellets in at the exact, exact same time. And uh, I think that went straight away. So just repeat that that process just getting that ball molded on and you still need to go 12 size 12 up guys um, even if you're fishing a small ball you just to to get that hook to pull through lower it in as you normally would I've already fed those few pellets so that's all right we've got the, the important thing with a waggler is that the drag is set quite slack not not silly but it is set quite slack so then when we hook the fish it allows because we're in close quarters and we've got a close you know shortish bit bit of line to the float especially if it's a big fish allows it to swim away um, and not only is that good for us peg but it's also stops you from bumping fish as much And just as we're fishing on the pole we're looking for that straight underbite that straight down rocket bite and then we're straight and we strike straight up like, oof, just like that and that bite maybe looked a bit exuberant you can see that bow wave um that maybe that the, the fish is just um foul just swim into the line and give us a false bite it's always uh, can happen when you're fishing paste uh, when there's a few fish down there but that was quite a, a positive uh, bite there so I'm hoping that there's a few more fish down there one of those double figure ones would be nice I'm going to try and now normally we would we would pot in uh, pellets so just, just to put a small handful in there um, those just need to keep going in as a feed 
they're just hard hard fours when obviously you're at Lindome they need to be using their their, for, their um, feed pellets for that Unfortunately, this is not what we want. Definitely don't want to be catching skimmers, um, but it is it is quite a common thing when fishing the paste. Although that is a nice skimmer. It is a nice little skimmer. The uh, that's not the intended uh, species, unfortunately. But we'll we'll keep. I'm quite confident that this. This carp's still there, um, so we're gonna just keep uh, keep plodding on. And if we don't get one inside of these next two drops, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down the edge and just see if there's any settled down there. That's another skimmer. <laughs> I've been a pest, a pest today. But, uh, unfortunately sometimes you have to persist. They, they do do rather like um, the paste, do it, the skimmers. I'm going to give it a little, we'll give it a little go down the edge and see, see if we can, can have them from there. Always a, always a chance when you're fishing down the edge that there's going to be a carp or two. I'm into a carp this time, boys and girls. This one from the edge. Not a particularly big fish, I don't think. But a uh, lovely bite, as you saw there. And lovely action on this Tyson rod. You see, just hear the drag just gently ticking away. Don't need to rush these kind of fish. And we're using that action to control the fish. That nice soft action. And if you hear that, just that nice gentle tick of the reel. If he, if he goes for it, a lot of fish are lost under the rod tip because the either drag's not set or they've got too stiff of a rod and it it just so easy to just set that set that drag and it just allows you to get these fish in and it's not it's not a ridiculous size fish but it's a nice fish probably sort of five pound-ish and he went on to that pace perfectly hooked in, in the lip and he's no oh, mate out let's see if we can get an hand under him and pick him up there we go not an absolutely huge fish but a beautiful conditioned mirror carp absolutely fin perfect let's get him back in That was a proper bite, boys and girls. That was a proper bite. Straight down there. And he's coming straight back to us. I don't think he's a huge fish, but uh, a fantastic bite, that one. That was a nice little common. 
and a lot of them are going to be uh, finished spawning now so that's probably when you're looking at that and it didn't really fight that's probably why uh, so a lot of them have sort of finished spawning and you can actually see on this fish he's got a few um a few war scars from spawning where he's been bang they've been banging about you can sort of see what they've been banging about um but let's get him back in but perfect bite absolutely i'm at that i'm at that down so it's nice to just alternate this is what i'm saying about having uh sort of a couple of lines and alternating between them just feeding sort of falls down that edge and then just fishing this one and uh, feeding that one and then having a drop on that one it's always good to to get your options going and like i was saying you, even though you're going to waggle a rod you follow those little guidelines about how you, you have your pace you get the plumbing up right and the hooks and everything and you can still have a good day like most of the time i catch my paste fish around this sort of distance and if you've seen the 20 pound challenge and i i caught that one on a four meter whip which is not as around this the similar air length to this 13 foot foot rod so you don't have to fish it a long way out whatsoever and uh like i said if you've got your, your drag set nice enough they can swing they, they can swim away with with no hurry to your pair guard you know disarray and and you can sort of turn them around and, and if they're a big fish they'll chug out your swim or they'll you know swim out swiftly and and they're not going nine times out of ten they won't pull the hook because they've uh, they've got tension on them but they've still got allowed to uh, to swim away and that's when you're not going to end up losing up links And a little thing to watch, like, you know, a little bit of watercraft, you know, keep your eyes down for fish, you know, for scrubbing underneath the water, for swirls down on your, on your bait. It's all about sort of learning to read the signs. And pace, certainly, it, it does target a bigger fish, but it's also, and you can catch food a day, but down on a night, it can be really dangerous um, and do really well. Again, that was a skimmer this time. We definitely don't want to uh, be catching them again. So next drop we're going to do uh, will be down the edge, and uh, we'll see if we'll, we'll see if that uh, come comes off a little bit better just get him a little bit of line so we can get him in they are good stamped skimmers though so you are catching a good quality of of fish uh, even if they're obviously not the not the fish that you you're looking to catch which we're not obviously um, wanted to catch these uh, these carp, but you can't knock the size of them, the average size of them. I had one earlier on, but we're uh, definitely close to the two two pound mark. Which, if you're catching a few of those, it's, it's not so bad. And again, it feels like another skimmer, and it is another pest. They are a pest, these skimmers, when you're fishing pace, unfortunately. It, um, it, is, it is a burden sometimes, but we'll keep going. We'll see if we can single out those carp um, with a bit of luck. an interesting uh, little drop there see see if there's any uh, any carp hanging about
into a fish straight away from there. That's another skim. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we go today, guys. We, we seem to catch a skimmers, but the main thing is we're out here in particularly not great weather and we're catching and that's, I suppose that's, that's all that counts. And that's a, a lovely skimmer. And just to let you know, this this is one of the easier ways to pick up the fish. It doesn't it doesn't hurt them. You just either side, just nice nicely pressed with your thumb and your finger, other side of uh, the gills. You don't want to be anywhere near going into the gill rakers or anything like that. But just a little bit of firm pressure, and it allows you to just keep them under control when you're picking them up um, with skimmers. It's uh, if you watch a lot of videos, you'll see a lot of sort of matchmen and things like that it's just nice and quick and easy um, on them and you can pick them up unhook them and get them in as soon as possible Into a nice bite there, nice solid carp bite. Not a, not a big fish, but be a nice one to to, to finish on. Look at a little mirror. Oh, and he's in. That's what I was saying. I like a, with a lot of them spawning, they're uh, they're not particularly fighting too hard. Um, Until obviously you get him in the net and then they're going berserk. But he's hooked just inside him. I'm going to need. He's not having none of it though. I'll tell you what, we're just going to put him back. Into another fish now. I've got that, that drag set nice and light, just to, it's like another small mirror. And this is where I like the flat part on the handle of these, uh, these Tyson rods. Just nice and comfy. Nice giddy little mirror. There he is in the net. And they go absolutely ballistic in the net. This is exactly the same as the uh, the one we just had before that. And uh, that one went mad in the net as well. Hooks come out in the net. That's what we like. Beautiful scale markings on this one. Lovely little markings on that. Beautiful little fish. Right guys, so hopefully uh, 
this one's been helpful uh, to you. Like I'm saying, Waggler is such an underused uh, method nowadays. And, you know, I, I always show all these videos on how to fish paste and things like that. And it just shows you how easy it can be done on uh, uh, a Waggler. And, you know, we've, we've, we have had a lot of skimmers today, impested by a lot of skimmers. But we have had a nice selection of carp as well. And no doubt... Um, on certain ponds, they'll be even bigger than what they are. This is a nice mixed variety on bonsai, and there is big double figure in here. Don't let me don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's nice just to catch a little mixture of fish. And uh, obviously, this is what's what we've had today. So, considering it, the weather's a bit rubbish, and you know that it's been raining, it's been a really good day, and uh, always nice to be at Lindome Lake. So, that's always a bonus. So thank you for all the support now we're well into six thousand subscribers which is amazing um you know really good feedback and i'm really enjoying getting the videos done and we'll also get in a gopro so we're getting some some extra angles and things like that so it should be uh, all good so thank you and join us on the facebook on friday nights at seven o'clock uh, for, for just sort of the banter and just getting information and asking questions and then joining us on eight o'clock on angling underscore for you again on friday to continue it on instagram for the people that don't have facebook and uh, yeah thank you very much like share subscribe add that little bell icon to notify you when the next videos are coming up thanks a lot for watching until the next one guys tight lines